Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel. And thanks for logging on. Today, we're discussing the F. Pijorn Tourbillon Souffren. You can see and you can purchase this constant force tourbillon in rose gold on our website. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you enjoy these videos and please click on the card in the upper right hand corner of the screen at any time during this video to see our full sales listing for this watch with additional accessories included in the sale, high resolution images for your desktop, and naturally complete pricing details for this FP Journ Tourbillon Souverain. Now of course after 2003 the design of the Tourbillon changed from the original Tourbillon Remontoir featuring the open aperture for the Remontoire at 6 o'clock and the vertical power reserve at 12 o'clock to the design, at least the layout you see here. Now after 2004, the watch gained a solid gold movement. All versions of this watch are desirable, however, and each one has special features that deserve to be called out, aesthetic and mechanical, and we'll get into that in a moment. Let's talk about the fit and the feel, because fit comes first. 40 millimeters across the round of the case, because there's a little bit of an overrider architecture to the bezel and the case back of an FP Journe watch, the mid case is actually recessed from the periphery. The watch measures 40.5 millimeters from 9 to 3, not including the crown. It's reasonably slim, considering the complication contained within in a tourbillon and a remontoire de galette. The watch is a svelte 10.3 millimeters, but it's actually a watch that wears thinner because of the domed profile of the bezel that easily allows a dress cuff or a tight sleeve to ramp up and over. Now, from lug to lug, it's a tidy 48 millimeters, so you can wear this watch on a smaller wrist. I would say down to as small as 14 centimeters in circumference. You'll also note that the shape of the lugs well planned by F.P. Journe, tightly downturned, almost 90 degrees from the case band, allows the watch to easily wear on a small wrist. So if you're borderline, if the lugs are about to project out over the edge of your wrist, visually they don't appear to flare out so much as they taper and melt down. That's the advantage of the tight and dramatic downturned profile of those lugs. Now turn the watch over, you can see this is a modern F.P. Journe strap. Pull tab spring bars means you can release the strap on both sides using only your thumb for a deeper cleaning of the case or simply replacement of the strap for a different look. Alligator leather, as with all contemporary Journe straps, gator on the top and a softer, suppler, small scale gator on the bottom. The advantage of having alligator on both sides, though it does add to the cost of the strap, is that it results in a much more durable article as the calfskin typically used as a strap underlay ages and weathers more rapidly than the gator typically used on the top. The pin buckle is simple and beautiful, polished in rose gold. It makes for easy adjustments on the fly and a classically low profile on the wrist. The case is all of high polish, but nicely defined by the interaction of the tripartite assembly, the bezel, the case back, and the mid case. Look at it from the front on its white gold dial, and you can see the watch has a lot going on, but it's easy to read once you become familiar with it. Now you can see that there is a high polished bezel on top of the white gold dial base, and that surrounds all of the cardinal functions of the watch, save the power reserve. You can see minutes and hours at 3 o'clock, you can see the tourbillon itself at 9, and then there is a seconds dial at 6 o'clock that may have you asking, isn't this a deadbeat second? Those of you who are Reading carefully, I've already noted that this is Remontoire de Galette avec Secondement. Well, why isn't it a jumping second, or dead second, as the French would suggest? Because when the watch gets down to about 10 hours of power reserve, it defaults from jumping seconds, which requires enough energy to energize the Remontoire de Galette spring and mechanism. It defaults to a sweep seconds to conserve power. And you can see the power reserve, which appears to indicate 42, actually indicates a dead empty here. That's why I didn't wind the watch much. I wanted to show you this feature. The power reserve works backwards, so when it's at zero, it's been zero hours since you wound the watch. And when it's at 42, it's at 42 hours since you wound the watch and just about ready to drop dead. Now you'll note the sweep seconds at 6 o'clock, as I wind the watch and energize the mainspring barrel, suddenly the constant force device, the Remontoir, is supplied with enough energy and force to operate its mechanism, and thus the watch becomes a deadbeat second. You'll also note considerably more vigor about the beat of the balance. There was nothing wrong with the watch, it was just low wind when I started the video. Okay, now let's talk a little bit more about what you're seeing here. There's a filigree style 
tourbillon cage that's beautifully executed, all of black polish. You can see the same specular or smooth optical finish about the continuously rounded and mirrored single-sided balance cock or tourbillon cock. You'll also note that there's a very tight and even prolage visible on the rose gold plate below. You can see the entirety of the mechanism visible, and in a rarity for an F.P. Journe timepiece, the watch uses an overcoil hairspring, which, like the tourbillon itself, is designed to even out the effects of gravity on the watch watch's timekeeping, the tourbillon helping to rotate the watch through all angles with respect to gravity and cancel out the fast and the slow positions, and the overcoil designed to center the center of gravity of the hairspring for concentric beating such that different positions don't lead to different beat speeds and different timekeeping rates. Now, of course, we turn the watch over, and I would say most of the business end is visible on the dial side, but not all. Now, this is the 18 karat rose gold caliber 1403. So, using the FP Journe nomenclature, 14 means it is 14 French line in diameter, 03 representing the year that work on the movement started. Now, if you look at the edge of the bridges, and you can see it well from this angle, they are mirrored and polished by hand to a glorious gleam and shine, and the same is true of the aperture surrounding the Raymontoir. You'll note that the full architecture of the spring and its supporting components is mirror polished in the finish known as Poly Noir or Polish Black. And you'll also note the interaction of the spring, the associated incremental indexing lever, and if you look very carefully, you can see a toothed wheel and a small pallet jewel that's indexing the deadbeat second complication. So power goes from the mainspring to the remontoir spring, and a certain quantized amount of energy is released each second that is then transmitted to, to the escapement in the tourbillon. What the remontoir de Galité does, it, it is a basically a power reserve for equality. So it's a second power reserve downstream of the mainspring barrel that always collects the same amount of energy, regardless of whether the watch is fully wound or half wound, or even down to a quarter wind, the Raymontoir will always meter out the same amount of energy to the escapement. So though the watch will run down on power and the mainspring barrel will have less force, until it diverts all power to sweep seconds and goes out of uh, jump second mode, it will be indexing the balance with the same amount of energy to maintain the same level of amplitude and timing precision. That's what the Remontoir de Galité does. It does what Grubel Force accomplishes with a spherical differential, and what, for instance, Alango Unzona achieves with the fusée and chain, although they also have their own Remontoir. This is a completely original invention, and when this watch's forebear, the original Tourbillon Remontoir, debuted in 1999, it was the first ever combination of a Remontoir de Galité with a Tourbillon. Still a stunner, and perhaps a signature F.P. Journe because of its historic position in the catalog. You can see, and you can own this rose gold example on our website.